God has called believers to a life of prayer. He made prayer an avenue for us to fellowship with Him. God's desire for fellowship with man was evident in how He always visited Adam in the cool of the day to commune with him before the fall. Even after the fall, God kept the communication line open. He made a way for man to still be able to access Him. With the death of Christ, the veil was parted and every man can go to God without the intervention of a priest. The Bible says men ought to pray always and not faint. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Pray continually. But the truth is, some people find it hard to pray. A lot of people find it difficult to be consistent in prayer. Prayer meetings in most churches are the least attended services. Why is this so? Prayer is so important and pivotal to the health of a believer's spiritual life that the devil especially attacks it. The state of prayerlessness is a sign of a spiritual attack. We all know that the devil is the sworn enemy of believers. He's lost his place in heaven and ultimately does not want believers to enjoy what he has lost. You might find it difficult to pray today because you might have prayed about a particular thing, believed with all your heart that your prayers were answered, and quoted scriptures with great faith in your heart. But in the long run, you didn't get the desired result. This is the reason a lot of people have lost faith in God. They still go to church, but deep down, they no longer believe that God can or will answer their prayer. The Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart weary. The state of weariness of the heart is the reason a lot of people no longer pray. But then the Bible says we should not be weary in doing well, for we will reap in due time if we faint not. Getting discouraged over unanswered prayers is inevitable, but staying discouraged and losing faith in prayer is an attack from the devil. There are various reasons why you might not receive the answer you want to your prayers, but in all, God is faithful, and that doesn't in any way connote Him as unfaithful. Your prayer might have been reduced to an empty profession without any assurance in your heart about what you were doing. This might be because you don't believe that there's someone who's listening to your prayer. No one has seen God at any point, but we all pray and believe in our hearts that He hears us. That is faith. Faith is a factor that is missing in most people's lives, and this might be why they find it difficult to pray. A lot of people find it easier to talk to their friends about their problems than talk to God. They have assurance in their hearts about their friend's ability rather than the power of God. This is why praying for most people has become a boring activity. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 says, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. I want you to know that prayer is the act of communicating with God. It's a system of building a relationship with a real being called God. It's not just a religious jamboree that you have to do to feel spiritual. It's a serious business that needs your full commitment and consecration. When you see prayer as a medium for you to build a relationship with God, your prayer life will take a new turn. You'll no longer pray for praying's sake, but pray with an understanding that you are building a relationship with God. Understanding who God is will help you pray effectively. There are a lot of believers who do not know who God is. They go to church, pray, give tithes, and involve themselves in every spiritual activity they can find, but they do not know God's personality. They have heard others talk about God. They read their Bibles now and then. But the truth is, they are not yet to understand who God is. They are yet to discover Him for themselves. When a person is still in this state, he'll struggle with prayer because there is no revelation behind the activity. I want you to know that it is the revelation behind the activity that makes prayer effective. The Pharisees, the non-believers, and people of other religions also pray. The only difference between what they do and actual prayer is the revelation that sponsors the activity. To overcome this struggle, you need to understand some things. The first thing you need to understand is the importance of prayer. If you don't know the importance of a thing, you'll often rate it as less than it's worth. There are things you do every day, whether it's convenient or not, 
because you consider them important. You wake up every morning and make breakfast. Even when you don't feel like doing it, you'll still drag yourself to the kitchen and get the job done. You do this because there are other people who wait on you to feed them every morning. You consider these people to be your responsibility, and then you make breakfast available before they ask. God is the Almighty, and He is wiser than us. Before you were born, He knows what you'll need at every point in your life, and the good news is, is that He has made them available. The Bible says while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we had no strength to save ourselves, Christ took it upon Himself to save us. Also, God knows the things you need before you even ask Him. He's only telling you to ask because He wants you to rely on Him and also build a relationship with Him. Praying is the medium of building that relationship. That makes it important. When you have understood the power of prayer, praying becomes something you want to spend your entire life doing. There is power in prayer. Mark chapter 11, verse 24 says, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. There is a saying that the distance between a person and everything he needs in life is the distance between his knee and the floor. Another saying that goes, when you kneel before God, you can stand before any man. All these sayings are trying to express the enormous power contained in prayer. Believe me, the power of prayer is beyond that. When you pray, you make everything in your life the way it should be. When you pray, you appeal to the integrity of God and make Him in charge of making sure that things work well in your life. When you do not pray, you leave your life to chance. It's like leaving your door open. When you leave your door open, all manner of things will come into your house, and you might not be able to live in that house again. Lack of prayer or not praying enough makes a person vulnerable. Prayer is one of the armor believers should put on. Can you imagine a soldier who goes to the battleground with an empty gun? That is who a prayerless believer is. The devil is fighting tooth and nail to get us out of the race, destroy our testimony, and make our lives miserable. Prayer is the medium through which we thwart his activities and make his attempts against our lives fail. A person who does not pray makes himself available to the devil. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. I want to encourage you to place a premium on prayer in your life. It might not be easy at first since you're not used to it, but when you set your heart right, then you can do it. Prayer is as important as breathing. Let this propel you to pray daily. Prioritizing prayer will help you shun every distraction that's been hindering you from praying. I know you have a busy life. Almost everyone does. Even in your busy life, endeavor to pray. If you have to seclude yourself from other people just to enjoy a time of fellowship with God, then please do it. You can have a specific time and place that you set up as a meeting point between you and God. Then you show up every day at that time, no matter what happens. Doing this is the start of having consistent time of fellowship with God. I'm sure you know that there is power in consistency. When you do something often, it becomes easier for you to do. Struggling with prayer might be the result of a haphazard prayer life. Building a consistent prayer life will save you from the hassle of struggle. God is near to those who call upon Him prayer takes you closer to God. Like I've said before, when you pray, you build intimacy with God. Your intimacy with God will set your life on the right course. You'll speak to God and He will respond. He will give you instructions through His Word and also other means. You won't experience the confusion most people have because God will always guide your steps. I can't overemphasize the importance of maintaining a prayer life. You're probably struggling because you're trying to pray with your power. Quit trying and trust God for the grace you need to pray. The power that raised Jesus from the dead is available to quicken your spirit, soul, and body. 
It cheers you up to pray. So whenever you feel weak and uninterested in prayer, reach out for this quickening power. The Bible says the Spirit itself helps our infirmities, for we do not know what we ought to pray for or how to lay the prayer. But the Spirit of God makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. The Holy Spirit is another advantage God has given to us as believers. When you feel too heavy to pray, the Holy Spirit will take over your spirit and pray through you by filling you with the words to say. You'll find yourself praying for hours when you didn't even think you could spend minutes. To overcome struggling in prayer, completely rely on the power of the Holy Spirit to make a praying giant out of you. When you do this, you'll no longer have to struggle when it comes to praying because when there's a mouth to pray, there's always a God to answer.